All right, so let's tackle this truss. Um, I have a pin at, at joint C. I have a roller at joint A. So first I'm going to start off with a free body diagram of what's going on here. Now, uh, I have a few more things. I have an applied force here. I'm going to call that force D, which is 600 newtons. I'm taking this from the example um, on the, what's it called, the trusses, free body diagrams page. Uh, that I set up a while ago. Um, and another 400 newton force here I'll call force B. And that's it. Now there's a 4 meter distance here to here. And this comes down and this is 3 meters this side and 3 meters. We'll pretend that's to scale on that side. Okay, um, so I need to draw my, my free body diagram. I'm going to draw my reaction forces in green because, well, I can do that. So, I have a reaction force at C. Now, C is a pin, so I'm going to have reaction force CY, and I'm going to have oops, reaction force CX. Now, I'm just assuming the positive direction because, well... I don't know which direction it's going in, so I'm just going to assume positive. If I end up getting a negative number, I know it's in the opposite direction. I'd assume up, and I assume to the right. Um, same thing for A over here. It's a roller, so I'm only going to get one reaction force, RFA, in the Y direction. Um, so that's all my forces on the whole structure, on the structure as a whole. Um, now, if I want to find the uh, reaction forces, which is what this video will do, um, I need three equilibrium equations. I'm going to start off with, I'm going to go back to my um, black pen. I'm going to start off with the sum of the forces in the x equals zero. Uh, let's see the forces we have in the x. I have RFCX, uh, this guy over here, and I have the force at D. So plus FD equals zero. Now I started off with those in the same direction. Now obviously they can't both be in the same direction, so RFCX is probably going to be the other direction. Um, but I know FD is equal to, uh, actually let me do that the other way. RFCX is equal to negative FD. RFCX equals negative, I know FD was 600 um, newtons. So that's negative 600 newtons, or 600 newtons to the left. That's my first reaction force right there. Um, next, I'll set up the sum of the forces in the y. Now, there's no, you don't have to do this in this order. This is just the order that I usually do it in. I'm just kind of used to doing it that way. Um, there's no reason you have to do it this way. So, our right, reaction force AY plus reaction force CY um, minus FB. And I say minus, it's going in the opposite direction. All that has to equal zero. Um, now I'm just going to move that over to the other side, RF, CY equals FB, now FB is equal to, I'm just going to put it over here, 400 newtons. Probably should have done this in pen, but oh well, now I'm committed. Alright, so that's some of the forces here. I can't do anything with this because I have two unknowns, RF, AY, and RF, CY. I don't know what those are, so I can't do anything with it yet. So I need to set up a sum of my moments equation. Now, I can pick any one of these points to do this at, and it will work. Um, but if I am clever about it, I'll pick a point where it just makes my life a little easier. Um, so I'm going to choose uh, point C right here. So that I'm going to sum the moments around C. Now, a moment is a force times perpendicular distance, right? So I'm going to go, uh, let's see, I'm going to look at forces that are turning it uh, clockwise as positive and counterclockwise as negative. So I have two clockwise forces. FD is pulling it this way and also FB is pulling it in the clockwise direction. The only thing countering that, um, since I'm picking point C and uh, these guys can't cause a torque because there's no perpendicular, perpendicular distance, is RFAY. Alright, so that should tell me RFAY. Uh, so I'm going to set this up as FB um, times the distance. Now I need a horizontal distance, which means from this point um, to this force, I need that distance right there. And that is 3 meters. Um, plus my FD 
600 newtons, times this distance is 4 meters. That has to be set equal to uh, my RFAY, because these have to balance, RFAY, times, now the perpendicular distance here is the whole thing, this whole 6 meters right here, times 6 meters. So um, FB is 400 newtons, 3 meters, 600 newtons, 4 meters is equal to RFAY times 6 meters, I get 1200 newton meters plus 2400 newton meters, RFAY times 6 meters, I get 3600 newton meters, RFAY times 6 meters, if I divide both sides by 6 meters, I should get 600 newtons, because the meters cancel out, is RFAY. Great, that's another one. 600 newtons at RFAY. So I know this is equal to 600 newtons. I know RFCX, I can label that too, is equal to negative 600 newtons, because it's negative because it's the opposite direction in here. Um, now I'm going to go back to my y equation, plug in what I know for this. Um, RFCY is equal to 400 newtons minus RFAY. RFCY is equal to 400 newtons minus, um, minus 600 newtons. So RF CY is equal to negative 200 newtons. Let me consider that. This is pushing up. Uh, that would be pulling up. This is pulling down. So, okay, yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. There'd be 200. This would actually be pushing in the downward direction. Oh, I'm off the screen, sorry. 200 newtons. Um, I have 400 newtons down, 200 newtons down, 600 newtons up. That cancels out. I'm good to go. So those are my reaction forces. Um, the next video will do uh, some member forces.